right, so the next settings that we want to go into and see if everything is correct is our email list settings. So to get there, we go to the top uh, menu, click on lists, and that will take us into our overview of all of our email lists. As you can see now, we only have one email list right here called Medix Tutorials. And we also have one contact in our list, which is actually the email address that you have used to sign up to GetResponse. So if you send out emails to this specific list, you will also get your own email, which is good because then you see um, what people will see. So you can see the exact email that people are getting. And um, what we wanna do here is we wanna hover over the three dots on the right side, and then we wanna click on settings. And that will take us into the list settings. And here you have three tabs. So you have general, subscription, and confirmation message. So first let's go over the general settings. Uh, the list name is what people will see when they have to confirm subscription or when they unsubscribe from your list. So let me just quickly show you what I mean. Um, when people, for example, want to unsubscribe, um, they see this page right here. At the bottom of every email that you send out, there will be a link that is saying unsubscribe and people can click on this link and then they will get to this page where uh, they can confirm that they don't want to be on your list anymore, that they don't want to receive your emails anymore. And as you can see here, they see which list they are unsubscribing from. And in this case, it, it's Maddox Tutorials. And you can change this name right right here. So make sure this name also makes sense for your subscribers. And um, then you can also give the list title and list description. Then you can give it a category, which is not that important, but you can add it. Then language. Um, this is the language that people also see when they unsubscribe from your list or when they have to confirm subscription to your list. So make sure this language is the language that your subscribers are using mainly. In my case, this is English. Then the next step here is show postal address in message footer. So maybe you know that with many countries, it's required by law that at every, uh, with every marketing email, email, you have to have your physical business address at the bottom of every email that you send out. So find out what the laws are for your specific case. And if you don't have to have your address at the bottom of every email, you can turn this off right here and then they won't see the specific address. So you can change this right here. It's actually specific to get response. A lot of other providers are not even giving you the option to turn this off. So let's move on. The next step is to add your logo. So if you have a logo, you can just click here and then upload your logo. And then it will show also when people unsubscribe or when people have to confirm subscription to your email list. I'll, I'll show you in a moment what this means. And um, you can also give a link uh, to your own website. And when people click on your logo, then it will go to this specific link. So let's say medicsmedia.com. Then make sure you save general settings. Also click save because otherwise it won't be saved. I wanna quickly show you where you see that logo. So if you go to subscription and then you go to confirmation page, then you see here on the top, you see this logo that you have just added. So this is for branding purposes. Otherwise, I think it will show get response, which is not what you want. So um, yeah, add your logo and add also the link that the logo will point to right here. And again, make sure you save it. Then you, we're gonna to go to the next um, tab here, which is subscription settings. And here on the first step, I would turn this off because if you have it turned on and you get like 10 new email subscribers every day, then you will get 10 emails every day telling you that you have a new subscriber, which I don't really like. So I have this turned off. And then the next step here is double opt-in. Now, um, if you want to, you can have people double opted into your list. The advantage is that you won't get fake email addresses because and when somebody types in a fake email address in your landing page or in your form, uh, then it won't really be on your email list until they have until they confirm it in their email inbox. Um, the the disadvantage is that many people won't won't go through your email and, and reconfirm. So I actually have this turned off, and what I do is I in my welcome email I tell them that if they want to unsubscribe at any time, they have to just go to the bottom of my email and click on unsubscribe. So I have this actually turned off, but this is up to you. Um, then if if you have this turned on, 
then you have to take a look at those settings as well, confirmation page. So uh, these are the pages that people will go to when, um, when they reconfirm. So you can have them sent to a specific URL or you can have them sent to this, the standard um, get response URL. So right now, the standard one is this one right here. What you can also take a look at if you want to have a double opt-in and confirmation message is the confirmation message tab. So let's quickly save this right here and then go to the confirmation message. And uh, this is the subject line of your confirmation message. Currently it's set to please confirm your subscription to Medix Tutorials. You can also add a custom subject line so you can tell something like, hey, um, please confirm real quick. Something like that and then the from address I would change to this um, branded email address. Then body template. You can um, change the template. So let's say you give away an ebook, you can change it to ebook request. And then you see the confirm confirmation message right here. So you can type in something here and then this is by default. You request for my ebook, blah, blah, blah. Easy one click confirmation. So they have to confirm right here. Then you can save confirmation message and that's it. Um, again, this is only if you have this turned on. So in my case, I just turn it off and I don't have to deal with any confirmation message. I will set up my own welcome message. So this is everything that you have to look at in your list settings. So let's go back to lists. And also if you wanna create new lists, just click on create list. And here, let's say we have a customer, customers. Okay, so now we have a new list and um, we can put people on either this list or this list. And what I wanna tell you is that um, when you have the same email contact on both of these lists, you have to pay for them two, uh, twice. So if you have a thousand people on this list and a thousand people on this list, and they're actually identical, so they're the same email addresses, then officially you will have 2000 email contacts and you will have to pay for a plan that includes 2000 contacts. So what I would recommend is to only have one person on one list. And the same way as we did before with this list, when you create a new one, always go into the list settings right here and change all the settings the way you want it to have.